Uh, Zato actually pretty light in the weight department, so he actually bounces a little higher than other characters. So here we go. This is winner's finals. Ogawa on the left, Nage on the right. I don't think uh, this is unexpected. Not at all. And Ogawa with the early knockdown. Good blocks by Nage. And here, we, here comes Nage battling back. Oh, I think he messed up his cancel there. Wanted to go for an overhead. And they're just kind of going back and forth right now. No big damage yet. Oh, nice RC to get the combo, and Ogawa bursts out. What's going on here? Accidental super, he did not want that. No, that's a lot of meter gone for nothing. And he broke the wall, so he's underneath right now. Can catch, could not catch him in a sandwich situation. Makes him run out the Eddie meter. Gets him back out of the pool, though. All right, nice burst. Oh, almost threw him into the bomb. That was close. That will be pretty sick. That's the foul special, right? Yeah. Kept him trying to jump over the bomb, and he threw him into it. Yeah. And another big air throw. Oh, man, catch him. Ooh, tried to spend 50% there to get the combo off the uh, pole. gonna be big damage right here. Going my way does an obscene amount of damage. And another bomb. If the command grab didn't kill him, the bomb certainly would have. Definitely. So Nage looking real strong right now. Ogawa with a couple of execution errors, very uncommon. Oh, oh man, and the big scalpel pole. Pulls him in. And interesting that that hits Zato and not Eddie because it, it hits high enough over the ground that it went right over Eddie. Ooh, just right on top of the Eddie. So Eddie got hit there by the ton, so you see that little gauge in the corner for Zato refilling. That means he could not use Eddie until it's back. And that means, oh man, for Nage, that's perfect. And now he's got him back, and now Nage is going to be stuck in a corner for a while because a little Eddie is pretty much attacking tandem with, with Zato, which makes the offense extremely strong. All right, but the ball right now, you can see it refilling. Eddie not going to be available for a few more seconds. Nage trying to get something going here out of the corner, but he lets uh, Ogawa just get right back in. Oh, and he catches him low. This is a big combo. Ouch! Had to burst out of that one. He wants this win so bad right now. All right, spends 25% to YRC that door to teleport right next to him, but can't get anything started off of it. And got hit by that pool again. Was not watching his feet. Oh, man. That little razzle-dazzle at the end there. Some chin, some jaw jacking. I haven't seen that in a while. <laughs> oh, oh and so under smart. Goes underground to avoid the scalpel pull. Gets two new beetles, too, off of that. Oh, almost lands on the drill. But even though he blocked it, it locked him down. Gave Ogawa an opportunity to start some pressure. This is getting ugly for Nage. Oh, oh he jumps hand. over the dead man's hand. That's a command grab from Eddie. All right, so Nage there using 2K to, to kill the puddle after the drill so that Ogawa could not summon Eddie to and the And he got him in a situation. There it is. Oh, pushes him out, though. Oh, gets caught. Oh. And Ogawa in control there. That is such a strong setup. Like, even when you escape the sandwich, it's just like, it's, they're still on top of you, so. Ogawa looking over his notes. I want to know what that, what does it say on there, man? Yeah, I'm curious to know what he's got written there. But Nage taking a second to think as well. He has all his notes in his head right now. He just <laughs> yeah. consulting the archives. All right, they're going back into it. So Nage was, was trying to stay up in the air while Eddie was out because Eddie is on a fixed meter. He can only be out for a certain amount of time. Exactly. So if he can run that out, that's actually better for him because it takes a little while for him to build back up, yeah, which means Zato has to unsummon if he doesn't want to waste it. Right. He was trying to stay in the air and throw down some bomb bags to potentially even kill Eddie. Right, poison controlling the ground. Nice. Gets the air hit. And that's big. Wow, that, that does not combo. Guy was just caught not blocking him. That would have been raw, right? Nage trying so hard to kill little Eddie, but Ogawa one step ahead, uses the H move with Eddie to go underground. Watch out for the springboard, jumps right on top of wow, it. Wow, yeah, landed right on it. Actually, I think he did that on purpose to, to just kill oh him my while God, Eddie was coming right. back. That's brilliant. Eddie needed to recharge, so I think he just wanted to get up in the air. That's where you can't touch him. The mini Faust closing in. Ogawa trying to jump over, but Nage is smarter than that, throws him right back into it. You're not going anywhere, buddy. Oh, kicks him right now. to the poison cloud. Little lady, little uh, little house coming in. Watch out for it. So smart. Nage just doing everything right there. Across the screen, it might have looked weird that he did that bomb bag so close to him, but what he was actually doing there was protecting himself in case Ogawa summoned Eddie to the puddle. Right, they would have got hit by the splash damage. And there we see what, what we were talking about. Nage trying to stay in the air, and the bomb bag actually does work there. And that would have been pretty bad for uh, Ogawa right there if he had just let that combo continue. And now little Eddie might actually, oh. Yeah, the little Eddie was actually threatening to, or I'm sorry, the little Faust was threatening to, to hit Eddie. Eddie yeah. yeah. Unblockable springboard there. Oh man, this is a 5H. Nice air dash, gets the combo. Is he gonna RC? No, because he won't get the kill from it. 
Backdash YRC is so tricky. That grab, man. So again, YRC spending 25% there to get a cancel out of his backdash to put himself airborne and gets a very tricky overhead out of it. That's not something you typically see a lot from Faust because he has other ways to do overheads that don't require meter. Right. So I think he caught Ogawa a little off guard with that one. Well, he had been controlling that match the entire time, though. Like, Ogawa is just... I wouldn't say he was predictable that match, but there were a couple things that Nage was just too ready for. Like, the, like when he tried to do that setup and just got air thrown back into the corner and then... I, I think the big change there was that Nagi was doing a much better job of preventing Ogawa from summoning to the puddle. Right. And Ogawa recognized that and started summoning Eddie to himself, but it wasn't as effective. Exactly. That means they have to start from scratch every time. Right. And so Nagi taking a bunch of stray hits here, just getting whittled down by... Right. And those stray hits hurt because Zato and Eddie do a lot of damage together. All right. Pressure in the corner. Nagi does not have a lot of life to oh. work with, and that is it. Ogawa turning it up on him. All right, so one round away from advancing to Grand Finals for Ogawa. All or nothing. A little bit of flight there. Eddie's double jump is actually a flight. Right, but he cannot block during that, so that is actually a perfect time to throw something far-reaching out at him if you have that. Oh, and, man. And the, and the Meteors lock down Ogawa, gets big counter hit, baits oh, the first. Oh, this is going to hurt him bad. That's what Nage needed to turn this around. And that's not coming back for a while. Ogawa needs this mix-up here. He's got to stay on the offensive because he does not have many offensive options right now with his first oh, on. Oh, jumps out of it. So Nage standing strong with the block. Gets oh, he had Smart. So he spends 50% so Roman cancel the far slash. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-oh. Actually counter hit at the wrong thing. Mini Faust. This is a good item against Zato. Oh, the overhead. Counter from above. He's oh, I thought he would go for the grab. Nage needs his well, right, to get stay alive. Bumps Danger time! Oh, time. Oh, the bomb still exploded behind him. It didn't hit him, though. Oh, oh my god! And the Nibiru. Ogawa takes it. <laughs> Holy crap. That was amazing. Wow. Ogawa taking that game. That was almost a great comeback by Nage. Danger time is completely randomized. So that was like the... The worst place for that to happen because we saw the bomb was still ticking behind Zato. Yeah. It exploded during the countdown. That's right. Yeah, the projectiles don't stop during danger time. So there's a clash mechanic in this game where two moves of equal strength can clash if they hit each other. And there's a chance on those clashes to go into danger time where every hit is a mortal counter. Yeah. <laughs> and Mini Faust again. Oh, bad burst again. But it was a gold burst, so he's not going to be hurting that bad for it. But still, with no meter, there's absolutely nothing. Oh. Wow, and the bomb actually hit him. He blocked the he air to no air. He had no meter. He had no meter to uh, uh, did. Oh, man, and Nage is just running away with this round. Oh, man. Got what? him again. He did the same trick he did last time with the backdash YRC. But this time, he just landed a command grab. Right. And so this, tricky. And this is a, a situation where you can make a bad decision at the beginning of the round, and it just can't get up. You got no meter. Knocked down by his own weight there. And Ogawa's taking advantage, gets his own command grab, setting up the unblockable. Back. Oh, and he though. blocks it! Did he mistime it? Slightly. The way that unblockable works is that the Eddie Drill hits low while Zato hits you high. And since Big Drill is like, what, five, six hits? Technically, in this game, there's no true unblockable. There's a one frame shift similar to Marvel, so maybe he Split just blocked it perfectly, yeah. Nage fighting to stay alive here, throws the bomb. Eddie goes underground to stand it. And both of them miss it. All right, Nage kills Eddie, trying to get out of this corner, though, but couldn't do it. Ogawa just too strong with the, the solo Zato pressure. All right, Nage's got one chance to turn this around. Otherwise, Ogawa's going to move on to grand finals. Oh, and the drill just out of position. Nage too scared to move. Oh, no, and Nibiru just getting so many hits. Nage already down over 50%. But a mini wow. Faust. Nage's getting hurt. Oh, oh the command grab. You can't chase him. That little that little Faust is still out. Gotta be careful. Oh, and the drill trades with a good good opportunity here for Nage. Mini Faust again. Mini Faust is so good in this matchup. Just one. Kills little Eddie. Perfect. This oh, is the air grab. Gets the air grab. He's here got he goes. He's gotta get this. He's gotta keep this pressure going. Man. Throws the bomb. Ogawa jumps out. out. Oh! He gets a big he's double pull. He's not gonna burst. Oh, there oh right burst the really late. Very smart. The bomb actually blew up Eddie. Oh, man, oh, he's got, got one burst. Solo. 
No room for error left for Nage. He cannot take any chip. Oh, oh and the Eddie punch move hits him at max range. That went so far. That is, that is so rough to deal with. Break the law, have little Eddie move forward, just poke at him. Nage put up a great fight. He made some great adjustments after the first game, but Oga was just so strong, so scary. Like, what would you do against that with anybody? You just have to, I guess, do your best to kill little Eddie. Yeah, but I mean, we, we talked about the great adjustments that Nage made by preventing Ogawa from summoning Eddie to the puddle. And uh, it really slowed down the pace of the match.